Welcome to the WDW Slideshow Update. I'm your disembodied narrator, or ghost host I guess, Kevin. Let's get started. We begin over at Typhoon Lagoon, where people don't take a whole lot of pictures, don't do a lot of updating of things on websites. I thought it might be interesting to show you some of the current prices from Typhoon Lagoon. You can expect to pay about $8, it looks like, for most of these food items. Uh, here's a second location. This one is over by the Sharks. Uh, here again, $8 for even the Caesar salad with chicken. Nachos with cheese, not a bad price for $3.99. Uh, this menu item, these menu items are a little bit more expensive. Expensive also over by the uh, Sharks. We've got the battered shrimp for $9. Um, barbecue pork sandwich also for $9. Chili hot dog for $7.50. A little expensive for my taste. I recently bought a PowerShot SX30, which has a massive 35 by zoom, and I uh, wanted to take an interesting shot of the Muppet Vision 3D, and uh, didn't really realize until I'd gotten home that the ball was in such poor condition. So this turned into an upkeep shot, even though that wasn't how I intended it originally. While I was in the Muppet Vision, I thought I would take a few pictures of the things up in the ceiling, since uh, normally that's hard to do unless you've got a fairly big uh, zoom lens. Now this show was suffering from some of its own problems. The penguins, which you can see visible here, uh, stayed up all of the time during the show. They never went down and descended. And so they sat there kind of immobile most of the time and uh, just didn't, uh, didn't inter integrate correctly with the show. Now the uh, old guys up in the side there, they were working fine, although one of them, his mouth didn't move very much. Now here we have a couple of folks uh, near the Phantasmic area wearing these green shirts labeled with the Brazilian flag. Disney cast members, I think there's something like ambassadors for what will be a record-breaking number of Brazilian tour groups this year. At Phantasmic, they're now offering these little boxes of pre-made food items. You can see that one of them has brie and cheddar cheese, fruits, and strawberries for $12, or uh, more like pretzels and candy and marshmallows for 10 They didn't open both of their... Uh, their uh, snack stands, however, so there were long lines, and that was a bit of a problem, too. Here we're jumping over to Epcot, where the info board continues its months and years long problem of these, these dots that some of them blank and most of them are just broken, plus the occasional broken pixel over on the side here. Uh, one broken panel in Mission Space, although that one illuminated when it was red. Nothing broken here, but part, part of test track when you come around the corner into the darkened room and see this truck. I'm sure you've heard this before. There's a president, Lyndon Baines Johnson, has a cardboard cutout wearing what looks like a Hawaiian shirt. Out in front of the Magic Kingdom, there's this little bit of construction going on next to the Disneyland Railroad. This shot was taken from the monorail platform. No real information on what's coming up there. Uh, the confectionery store has reopened. Uh, this second floor construction is all brand new. Uh, rumor has that they're not using brick now, but fiberglass, which makes a lot of sense given the punishment that Florida um, weather deals and uh, they're redoing the windows you can zoom in a little and see that you know, the windows are brand new and some of them haven't yet been added they'll probably still get awnings back on their windows as well looks nice the skyway in Fantasyland is completely gone it's been raised back down to the ground this area will soon as we said before turn into more of a walkway so that Peter Pan's cube can expand and speaking of walkways this used to be a planner in the central part of Fantasyland there were walls up around this until recently um, they removed the planter, and now the walls are gone. The walls have moved over to the left here, uh, where there's another planter, probably also undergoing demolition. They're going to make this area more flat and more accessible in preparation for the fantasy forest behind. Here's a shot over those trees of some of the rock work coming into the Little Mermaid area. At the far end of Fantasyland, uh, next to Winnie the Pooh, this wall used to be over to the left a lot more. Now the wall goes straight into the Mantee Party. You can't walk all the way around the Mad Tea Party anymore. It's just a narrow walkway. You can, however, on the other side of the Mad Tea Party, still take a picture of the Dumbo area under construction. This kind of caught my eye. The afternoon parade sh uh, showers the nearby trees with these ribbons. It kind of looked a little bit like Anandapur and the prayer flags. A bit out of place in the Magic Kingdom, but what are you going to do with that paper? They've got a themed scrim up around the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. Looks nice. I, I do appreciate these themed scrims that they use in Florida, and I wish more places would use them. I, um, they're starting to use them now in California. And also, um, Pecosville, which is open, has this uh, scrim over the top of it. So they spent a lot of money on those things. 
The firehouse on Main Street will be closing soon, the fire station, and inside you'll see patches from real fire stations around the country, as well as buy uh, several different kinds of tchotchkes and uh, little souvenirs. Here's a nod to 71, which is the fire company 71, really just 1971, which is when the thing opened. And looking around, you'll see other little bits of merchandise. They have individualized name badges for sale. And uh, this little beauty, a Main Street fire truck, not all that authentic to uh, the turn of the century. We stopped in at Fantasmic this week, and uh, Mickey is missing something here. He's missing some fireworks that are supposed to come out of his hands. Also, on the water screens, there's supposed to be fireworks in that first sequence. That's been gone for some years now. And there were even no fireworks on those water screens at the end sequence, right before Tinkerbell. Uh, so either the fireworks have misfired or they're missing something. Now here the Wicked Queen changes and there was almost no fog. There were no uh, little fireworks coming off the side of the cauldron as well, uh, which are supposed to help make your eyes adjust. And so they really started some cutbacks on Phantasmic. And, uh, you know, it's, it's probably not noticeable to the everyday person, but these little things do add up. Here lastly is the um, pin, pinwheel fireworks on the um, Steamboat Willie boat, which now just aim down, and that might be by design. Thank you again for your attention, and we'll catch you next week. See you in the parks.